Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by the Kali Cosmetics Santa Claus North Pole eyeshadow palette. I will throw a picture up on the screen of the whole um, holiday collection. Um, this is like one of her most interesting collections that I've seen in a really long time, which I know her last collection that I was interested in was like the Storm or like it was Thunder or something like that. But other than that, her other collections have been kind of like the eyeshadow palettes have been kind of boring and yeah like so but I will note when I was going through my collection to find shades that I thought were similar I noticed a lot of the similar shades I found were in the blood sugar palette which I know I literally just did a collab video with my friend Crystal on YouTube but if you haven't seen that video you need to go watch it linked up here um but yeah yeah I really think this collection is like really really cute and I definitely want to kind of like showcase it and see if I can use my own um, shades from my own collection to get a look kind of like this palette. I want to credit a creator here on YouTube. I'm not really sure how you pronounce her name, uh, but I believe it's Anaya or Anya. I'm really not sure. But yeah, she does this video all the time where she does a couple looks inspired by a certain palette. I think shades from my own collection. And it's just kind of like to tell her audience that you don't have to, you don't necessarily need every palette to just kind of like dive into your collection and see if you have similar shades. It's what made me not buy it because like I literally have all these shades. Like I literally almost have like every single one it's just not in the same palette um and i'm sure they're not like the same tones but like they're similar um so make sure you go check out anaya or anya's channel i'm not really sure how you say it in the description below because i love her channel so much she's literally so sweet and her channel is like really really cool she does a bunch of different videos and stuff like that so yeah i'm trying to get through this video because it's late um i'm drinking this java monster drink um so yeah let's go so first off, I want to point out that yes, I've had this makeup on for a little bit. That's why I have mascara on. So if I'm looking a little bit like, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I kind of touched it up, but if I look a little not on to par like I usually do, that's why. Because I wasn't going to redo my makeup at 10 o'clock at night. Um, Let's be real. I'm going to be duping every shade because I'm not using every shade like I did in my last Inspired by Palette tutorial, which I'll actually link up here. It's my Menagerie. A killer pro palette inspired look i think i want to do something kind of like smoky not a, really a cut crease because i've did like so many of those i'm gonna be getting the celestial thunder palette from dominique cosmetics that i got in my november boxy charm it looks like this i have not showed it on here but i'm gonna be taking the shade lunar eclipse which is this one right here i think i'm actually gonna mix these two which is um storm dust and lunar eclipse these two right here and it's inspired by the shade um i believe santa's helper i'll throw it up on the screen if it'll like kind of focus because the screenshots don't really look as good but it's the shade and the second row the last shade it's santa's helper that one it's not exact but it is very very similar um and yeah and i'm like picking up my computer to like read it because i'm blind and yeah i film with my iphone so i'm just packing that shade on my crease right here in the front and then i'm gonna blend another one and then blend them out later on but yeah what do you think of the kylie cosmetics holiday 2019 collection let me know in the comments below right now um and just like give me your thoughts let's chat about it to be honest, my thoughts are I think it's the most interesting and I think it's the most, like, I think it's the best collection that she's released. Like, I don't know, formula-wise or, like, anything like that. Most interesting, so not best, most interesting. In the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, and I'm going to be taking the shades Prick and Cherry Soda, these two right here. And I'm actually going to be mixing those two together. And it's kind of going to be, um, well, I think it kind of looks resembling to the shade Treat Your Elf. I'm going to throw it up on the screen. It's the last shade on the top row. The picture that I, the picture that they have on there, it looks a little dark, but I know that it's kind of lighter in the swatch, so let's just hope. I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of fresh meat too, which is this one right here. So just all three of these. I'm gonna be taking that and just blending it into my outer crease, blending it into the two shades that I use from the Celestial Thunder Palette. I keep wanting to call it Celestial Storm because that's like her bigger palette. <laughs> I don't know why. Ooh, this is like very Christmassy, obviously. <laughs> obviously y'all y'all it is late i'm sorry i'm not in like a really rush to film i just wanted to film today because i have literally so many video ideas i was thinking how am i literally gonna come up with like all of these video ideas because i want to post three times not three times two times a week 
Um, and like, there's no way. Well, then like when all these ideas started coming to my head, it's like, wow. Like I, then more and more keep coming in and I'm just like, wait. <laughs> like I have literally so many video ideas and I want so many videos to go up, but it's just like crazy. I'm actually gonna be dipping into fresh meat and just kind of deeping that up a little bit. Um, there's not really a specific shade that I'm like catering this to. I'm just like wanting that a little bit deeper in the crease area. That's just what I would do. It's taking this clean fluffy brush, it's from Wet n Wild. Um, and then just taking and blending that all around the edges just to make sure it's very, very blended. So I'm back and I caught this eye up and did a step that I'm about to do on this eye. But for the shade that I just used on my lid, I'm gonna be picking up the Through My Eyes palette um, with ColourPop and I Love Sad E. And I'm using the shade Divina, Divina, I'm not really sure how you say it, but it's this one right here. And I feel like it almost completely matches the shade at the bottom corner on the right. I feel like it matches that shade almost exactly. Um, so I'm gonna be taking that and just packing that all over my lid and kind of blending and all that. Taking that shade and just packing that all over my lid. Um, since we don't have any concealer, you ha do have to kind of like pack it on. Or I did over there, but I feel like I really love the shade. And you know, you're not necessarily gonna do bright red looks with the palette just because it is a like red palette, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, but yeah. Once I get it packed all over the lid, I'm just kind of blending up a little bit into those two shades that we used well like you know what i mean the one and then the two first gonna be going back into the celestial thunder palette and, and getting those two shades that we used just kind of mixing them together and blending putting that shade back into where we put it and kind of blending into divina and doing the same thing with the blood sugar palette and then on the outer corner blending back it down i feel like from the soft glam palette from anastasia beverly hills Y'all, this palette has been through so much. Like, look at it. It's literally like, I don't think I've ever hit pan on that many shades. But anyway, this shade right here, Dusty Rose, kind of reminds me of the shade. I think the shade name is Peppermint Princess. It's on the bottom row on the left. On the left, bottom, bottom row on the first shade on the last row. Anyway, I feel like it looks like Peppermint Princess, but I'm not sure because the picture isn't loading. But I believe I never use Anastasia on my channel, like Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just really never interested in their stuff. I mean, they release like a palette like every week at this point. So, and I mean, you're right. If you're an Anastasia Beverly Hills fan, you're like, well, you don't have to buy it. You're absolutely right. But I can have an opinion about the launches, which is completely fine. I'm not hating on them because the palettes are kind of cute, but... I'm just really not interested. I really like how that's looking. I think I am gonna add a little bit of red and a brown into it, but we'll just see. I'm gonna take this brush that I used with the Jeffree Star Blood Trick Palette and just kind of blend that down in there and a little bit like on it, you know? I'm taking that same brush that I used with the shade that we used from the Soft Glam Palette. I'm gonna be getting the ColourPop through my eyes palette again and getting this shade that we used all over my lid, this one right here. And I'm just been getting a little bit, like a little bit. And tapping off and then just kind of smoking that out just a little bit. The brush that we used for the, like the all over blending, I'm going to be dipping into Dusty Rose from the Soft Glam Palette and just kind of blending a little bit more because I feel like I kind of lost that shade, which is completely fine. It's a light shade anyway. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my Menagerie Cosmetics Killer Per Palette. I just posted a first impression with this palette on my channel. If I have enough space in my like cards collection thing, I'll link it right up here. You can go watch it. I like the shade Prowl right here. Um, it matches or it's kind of similar to the shade meant to be in the palette. It's kind of like that gold shimmer. I'll throw it up on the screen from the Santa Oz North Pole eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be dipping into this shade right here and I'm actually gonna be putting it on my brow bone. Just putting that shade right up here. The brush that I used for that red right there with no additional product, just blending into the brow bone highlight. See, it added something that's really cute. I'm taking this Menagerie, it's like travel empty palette where you can put all of the single shadows that you want in them. Um, look at the little packaging on it. It's got like little foxes on it. Isn't that literally so cute? Anyway, I actually picked up one of the shades that I, which I'm actually wearing for highlighter. It's literally so stunning. And it's the shade Pearl. Um, it's right here. It's in their Well Song palette. Anyway, I felt like it resembled a little bit um, of Secret Santa. Now taking that and popping that in my inner corner like this. Oh my God. 
it's like so icy oh oh yes i think this is like the completed eye look so i'm gonna go off camera and i'm gonna catch this eye up throw on some lashes something on my lips something in my waterline because i think i want to do a pop of red i think that would be really cool and it would like pop the look out a little bit more and did some final touches and we will be co we'll come back to show the completed look and talk about my thoughts on the collection a little bit more okay everyone i am back with the completed look what do you think i'm really obsessed like i think that it's really cute i feel like when you first look at the palette you wouldn't create something like this and i feel like you shouldn't create like the first thing that comes to mind i feel like you dive into like your creativity a little bit um and yeah our lashes today i am wearing the isla beauty lashes in the style laney i believe that's how you pronounce it i literally still haven't figured it out anyway um yeah i've been wearing these for a really long time since i got them in the mail um they're my favorite lash like of all time i'm also wearing the isla beauty gloss in the shade pika um i also wanted to say that isla beauty just came out with new and improved glosses in um two of their shades um coco which is my favorite shade and this one pika um in coco they added more sparkle and in pika they added a little bit more um in like a little more pigment to make it more red like two layers of the gloss so that's how i got it a little bit more red but yeah i just wanted to let you know if you were like interested in them um there's always a link in the video when i use them in a video and there will be one in this one since i'm wearing the lashes and the glosses we got the tutorial out of the way and now i want to talk about the collection a little bit more okay so the top four things that stand out to me in this collection i just read through them all is the eyeshadow palette collect the eyeshadow palette which is the Santa claus north pole eyeshadow 16 shades 48 dollars which i think is a really good price um the red wicked liner um i think that's a good deal um well ooh, uh, $18 i think that's a good deal yeah like especially around the holidays you're going to be using red a lot and i think it'd be cool it looks the four piece brush collection oh wait no her brush is like really expensive no way it's $35 for four brushes that's not bad so yeah i'm intrigued by that because i want to try her brushes and then the blush and highlighter duos. I'm also interested in that because like having blush and highlighter together and especially from Kylie, like I'm kind of interested in that. Start of palette, the brushes, the red look liner and the blush and highlighter duos. I think that's pretty good. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the collection. I think that it's one of her best collections that she's came out with. I hope that she kind of like gets more into color and does more collections like these. She comes out with like a new brushes and stuff like that. I think that's kind of cool to incorporate that. Let me know what you think about this collection in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on what I did with this look right here. Let me know if you're going to be picking up the collection. Let's just chat in the comments below. I had a really good time filming this video. I always have fun filming these videos. And yeah, I just had a good time sitting down and chatting with you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Make sure you hit that bell notification because the time can vary sometimes. I just don't never know when to post. And yeah, make sure you follow me on my Instagram at makeup underscore by Joshua with three A's. Um, some people say Joshua, <laughs> um, but it's just when I put in makeup by Joshua, like it wasn't available. So I had to kind of like come up with something. <laughs> But yeah, there's a link to follow me on my Instagram in every video, so make sure you check out the description. Sometimes there's some, sometimes there's important links and messages that you might want to read. Um, so yeah, I thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys! Okay, guess we're doing just fine.